What's up guys, it's Anders and in this video I intend to save you a good 20 to $40 and show you why you don't need MIDI chord packs when you're using FL Studio. If this video does save you, why don't you go get something you'll actually enjoy like checking out the Straight Outta Fruity Loops t-shirts down in the description below. So inside FL Studio, there's a very, very cool feature in the piano roll that actually contains pretty much every chord option you could ever want. And even if you don't know any music theory, you can still use these to make fantastic progressions. So let's just quickly whack our BPM down a bit. We'll go for sort of a hip hop vibe with this piano. Now, the first thing is the helper that shows us what key we're in. So you can see at the minute, some of my piano notes are highlighted in white and they're always going to be in a particular key. So if I just choose those, it will roll up perfectly well in that key. Now the simplest triads in each key simply miss out every other note. So if we were to just do this, we've got a triad. We can very easily then just do this. And it's always gonna work as long as we leave at least one gap. And we can mix those up really easily. However, if we want to get a bit more complex with our inversions and other things, we need to have a look at those chord options as well. So everything's hidden up here. So first thing we can go helpers and we can do our scale highlighting. And that's what we did before. So we had it there in F major. Let's just switch it up a bit and we'll do a minor harmonic, but keep it on the F sharp. Then we've also got pretty much every chord you could ever need up in here as well. Then we've got stamps. Now we just put it into a minor harmonic. So let's grab the minor harmonic stamp and it's leading off of the F sharp. So if I stamp it on an F sharp, look how it fills exactly the right notes. So if we were to take that, perhaps copy it over a couple of times, and we could quite simply just start removing notes from this scale. So we've got maybe like three or four left each time. Uh, this isn't gonna work for us every single time, but we're definitely gonna get something kind of cool each time, right? Okay, we can start building up chords that way as well. Now also under stamps, we've got all of the chord types, quite literally everything, inversions on majors, the whole lot. So if we were to take a major seventh, for example, and stick it on our F sharp key like we did before, we've got a major seventh chord right off the bat. Now if we were to switch our helper into the major, we'll keep it on F sharp. We're gonna have that major seventh, right? We could do the stamp again and do it on a different key. This time we can see that two notes aren't falling in the right place. So we can put them somewhere we know they will work. See how easy that is to do? So we could even then copy our first chord, bring it into here, and we know that we can maybe just drop that note and it's still gonna work. All right, so you don't need to know at this point what all these keys and chords do, just how they're gonna sound and how they're gonna work. So you could take literally any one, drop it where you think it's gonna work on a note. So we're leading everything off of the F sharp here. Have a quick look at the scale. See that, ah, okay, it's missing on a couple of notes on the scale. Bring this one up, bring this one up, and, up, and bring this one up, and it's gonna work because we've left at least a gap between each one. We can literally go and grab any of the other ones. Let's grab a 13, we'll stick that one note below. We can start to get a bit more creative. Let's take half of this chord and let's treat it like it'd be a left hand and right hand. If we hold command and tap up, it's gonna move it up an octave for us. And we can do the same with this section. We just give it a feel of like some split handed play. That all feels a little rigid at the minute. A lot of the core packs will have a little bit of a movement in it. Super simple thing to do. Select everything here. We're gonna go back up to our option at the top again. This time we're gonna to use tools and we're gonna use something called strum. 
This strum is just going to help us lead those chords in just a little bit. See if we push the time, they all fall really out of sync. But if we have it just a little bit applied, it helps them just feel a bit more natural. And if you want to take my super neat melody trick, once we've found some chords we like, we just run the slicer tool through them a couple of times. get some nice like sloppy keys playing there so hopefully guys that was helpful for you and you now understand why you don't need to buy midi chord packs in fl studio you've got all of the tools you need right there built in and if that did save you spending that money do check out the merch for me we've got the straight out of fruity loops t-shirt which is absolutely awesome i hope the video was helpful for you and i will see you on the next one